Hey, Shawan, this is uh, Son Allah coming back with another lesson. I'm going to start off by giving all praise, glory, and our honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah Bashem, Kakadash. Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone um, and Apostles of Great Millstone and Rule Well. Peace and blessings to you, brothers, out there preaching this word of sincerity and truth. Um, I just want to do a quick lesson, um, just been on my spirit, to talk about uh, how we how we should abound. Um, and, and be in the spirit of abounding and, and growing to be great, you know. Um, a lot of times um, when we're relaxing, we're chilling, we might watch boxing, we might watch basketball, uh, football, whatever uh, sport you're into. Um, you know, uh, you, you have certain athletes that stand out more than others because they, they, they aspire to be great. We hear stories of, of, of their hard work. Um, outside of whatever their, their, their venture is and how uh, it shows when it's time to perform. And we have to have the same spirit in this truth to, to excel and to, to be great um, because the the 144, the elect, are going to be great men. They're going to be uh, 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 superstars in the kingdom of heaven. Um, uh, but we have to aspire for that because those men who are chosen to be the elect are going to be the rulers of this next world and their their mindset their 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 instinct is 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 to excel higher and higher in this faith and and, and truth man uh, through the grace and power of Yahweh so I just want to grab a couple of scriptures on that uh little wounds that I find to you brothers um uh, my apologies Slakia I'm a little under weather so um uh, I'm gonna try to be as clear as possible I'm kind of losing my voice but um, uh, the first scripture I'm going to start with is 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter in the uh, uh, the uh, 58th verse. It says, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. <coughs> and you know that that's that's what we're commissioned to do is, is to be steadfast and unmovable but always abounding always growing always excelling to the next level in this thing and because that's going to strengthen your faith you know, the more that you are toiling in this and really just engulfing yourself into the flames in this and being refined through the spirit of Yah you 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 you, you it, that 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 spirit of, of trying to to grow is going to make those characteristics in you uh, shine, um, and 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 like like it says, it says that labor is not in vain in the Lord. So the the Yahabash Miyahusha is looking down with with uh, uh, with with her joy uh, that that you you're trying to grow in this, and so it's not something that you're doing that's empty and it's not being accounted for. And it doesn't matter about views or comments on a comment board or, or pats on the back in this thing we're looking for spiritual rewards that are near you know, those treasures are being stored in heaven so when you look up that word abounding get to it and the word abounding there is going g4052 all right, Let's hear it. Strong's G, 4052. Perisuo. Perisuo. Yeah, now the word there is perisuo. Um, it means to exceed a fixed number of measure, to uh, be left over and above a certain number or measure, to be over, uh, to remain, to exist or be at, uh, at hand in abundance, to be great. You know, uh, it's the saying that we have is, is uh, be great. <laughs> you know, uh, once one of my friends is, uh, you know, you, you know, and what what you mean by that is is take it to a, to a higher level, man. Don't don't settle for mediocrity and uh, swallow and in and, and, and just uh, uh, complacency. You know, this is a thing which comes in abundance or overflows into one something falls uh, to the lot of one in large measure to redound unto t 
turn out abundantly for a thing, to abound, overflow, to be abundantly flirt, uh, flirt with, to have an abundance, abound in a thing. And that thing is this truth, you know, to be uh, in affluence, to be preeminent, to excel, to excel more than, exceed, to make, to abound, to flourish in one richly so that he has abundance to make abundant or excellent and that's what we're commissioned to do in these things is to uh to to be great to 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 strive for excellence and mastery uh, in this truth so we can be examples to the planet earth of being uh righteous men you know because that's not flourishing on the earth weakness is flourishing flourishing on the earth you know and so that's what is the example on the earth now is a complete wickedness man so we have to excel in our work and pushing this truth okay I'm gonna go to the next scripture um, this is Romans the 15th chapter um, in the 13th verse it says, Now the Most High of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing. Um, and that's another key thing, you know, is finding joy and peace in this thing and, and this truth. Uh, I know the other Ariel went into it on this last sit down about um, having enthusiasm, but also uh, having uh, 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 joy in this thing because a lot of times. The, the wickedness of this world and constantly being surrounded by it can beat you down and that's why you have to really stay in the flame because we have peace in knowing that we are on the right side of this and that Yahbashim Yahweh is going to redeem his people and you're an Israelite so that should have you excited because the closer and closer that we get to the end of this thing which is the destruction of Babylon the Great right martial law and the chip which is uh the mark of the beast you know that you're on the right side of, the, of these things that's why the seven brothers and the maccabees found joy in their torment because they knew the true judgment of the heavenly father they were going to be on the right side of it when they came back right he says now the most high of hope fill you with all joy and peace and believing that ye may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost, okay, which is this word, verse 14, it says, And I myself also am persuaded of you, my brethren, that ye are all full of goodness, filled with all knowledge, able also to admonish one another, right? And, we, and, and when we're doing these lessons and shows and we're speaking and counseling with each other. We are admonishing one another. A brother might bring something out that you needed to hear to build your character up, to, to, to help you abound, to help you grow. And it's all in love, you know? It's all in love. It's not in strife or envy or in contention. It's, we, we do these lessons to, to, to grow and build. And that's why uh, our words are so powerful. Because they're, they're, they're speaking or spoken in, in, in righteousness, tr faith, and truth. And so um, it's a blessing to be around like minded men so we can all grow together as one to watch the ushering in of the kingdom of heaven as we watch this world destroy itself and, and, and engulf itself in its own wickedness. Um, I'm going to jump to uh, Second Peter's. The first chapter, and really, this whole chapter is a good chapter. Um, I'm gonna start at the second verse and read down through 10. This is Second Peter chapter 1, verse 10. It says, Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of the Most High and of Yahweh Mashiach, according to his divine power that uh, power hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that hath called us to glory and virtue whereby are given 
unto us exceeding great precious promises right because we were promised to govern and rule the whole universe man you know uh, that by uh, these ye might be partakers of the divine nature having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust right because we're going to have those um, so, so, uh, celestial bodies and we're not going to go off anymore man we're not going to be subject to to uh, vanity and, and, and the lust of our flesh we're going to overcome death and it's going to be beautiful and besides this giving all diligence add to your faith virtue and to your virtue knowledge so right here <coughs> this tells how we need to just build on the things um, that, that, that we're founded on and to knowledge temperance and to temperance patience and to patience godliness and to godliness brotherly kindness and to brotherly kindness charity for if these things be in you and abound so if these things be in you and, and you abound in those in these things they make you that ye shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of Yahweh Shammashiach, right? So if you're constantly abounding in all these virtues, you're not going to lie stagnant and, and, and uh, complacent in this thing. You're going to be uh, constantly growing in this thing and go, going to the going from glory to glory, <coughs> as the scriptures talk about. So you won't be barren or unfruitful, right? So, you know, the things that you've been taught, you're, you're able to express that at a higher level um, as you uh, go on this walk and journey um, that, that, that we call life, you know. It says, but he that lacketh these things is blind and cannot see afar off and has forgotten that he was purged from his old sin. And we see that a lot of times. We see these, a lot of a lot of guys fall off because they're not abounding in, in brotherly kindness. They're not that are not abounding in all these virtues uh, that was uh, spoken before here in, in, in Peter. And you you fall back to that old nigga that you used to be. And we're not to do that because um, we're constantly uh, Satan. And let these left hand demons, they're not relaxing, they're not chilling, they're constantly attacking your mind, they're constantly attacking your body because they don't, they, they're trying to pull you away, <coughs> right? Verse 10, therefore, the rather brethren give diligence to make your calling and election sure, for if you do these things, ye sh uh, shall never fall, right? So we have to be diligent in our, in our walk. And we have to constantly have a mind set of, of, of abounding in our faith, you know, of growing, of being great, being excellent. So when brothers challenge you to do things, take those, those challenges to heart uh, and don't take it as a, a burden. Take it as uh, the spirit of Yahbash and Yahushah imploring you to grow, you know. This is uh, Sirach chapter 10, verse 27. It says, Better is he that laboreth and aboundeth in all things that, uh, than he that boasteth himself and wanteth bread. Okay? So it's, it says, Better is he that laboreth and aboundeth in all things instead of talking about it, be about it, you know? You know, and that's concerning everything, whether it's your job, whether it's uh, 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 you, you, you want to get better at a certain skill or a certain talent. You got to be work at it or you ain't going to never get to the next level, man. You're going to be watching everybody else eat. You're going to be watching everybody else do their thing, man. And then uh, you're going to sow seeds of, of, of maliciousness, hate, envy. Because you're not growing those those true virtues um, in this thing. This is Philippians chapter one. Um, I'm starting verse six. It says, "Being confident of, of, of this very thing, that which was, which have begun a good work in you, will perform unt until the day of Yahushua Mashiach, even as it was." 
as it is need for me to think this of you, uh, you all because I have you in my heart and as much as both in my bonds and the defense of the confirmation of the gospel you are all partakers of my grace for the most high is my record how greatly I long after you all in the bowels of Yahweh Shah. and this I pray that your love may abound yet more and more in knowledge and in all judgment that ye may approve things that are excellent that ye may be sincere without unfit offense until the day of Mashiach Yahweh being filled with the fruits of righteousness which are by Yahweh unto the glory and the praise of the Most High okay and so we want to make sure <coughs> Like it says, it said that your love may abound yet more and more in the knowledge and in all judgments, in all judgments. And so we're not uh, just uh, supposed to be uh, only uh, fervent in, in, in these scriptures on the Friday camp or Saturday camp, whenever you brothers go out. We constantly got to be walking in the spirit because if we're constantly having our minds uh, in the spirit, we're going to be able to, to grow. And you're going to be able to discern things and have better judgment in your daily life. And it's going to cause you to have less strife and contention, uh, not with just brothers, but just people in general. Uh, because you're able to uh, 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 make the correct judgment calls and the decisions when you're doing certain things. Because things are going to happen to where... You might not have a, a group of brothers you're around to help you make a decision. You're going to have to know what to do. We're training for war. We're in a war. Um, and so you got to be able to uh, wield your sword. you got to know how to put on your helmet. you got to know how to uh, uh, place your breast, breastplate in the right place. You're going to have to know how to gird up your loins. Right? And, and that's what we're doing now. Uh, and, you know, through our you know, faith and temperance and patience. Uh, diligence uh, uh, and of course growing in the knowledge growing in the knowledge um, this is uh, Thessalonians the fourth chapter verse one it says furthermore then we beseech you brethren and exhort you by the Lord Yahweh Shai that as ye have received of us how ye ought to walk and to please the most high so ye would abound more and more for ye know that com uh, for what commandments we gave you by <coughs> Yahushua Mashiach for this is the will of the Most High even your sanctification that ye should abstain from fornication right that every one of you should know how to possess his vessel in sanctification and honor Okay, and so you're going to need to know how how to to grow and abound in these things. And you have great examples from uh, the apostles on down of them diligently do, doing work, putting out videos, going out speaking, uh, learning the Hebrew, praying, anointing one another, uh, fellowship, you know, fellowship and learning order. And these things help you grow in this thing, you know, from the top to the bottom. You, you are bounding. You're becoming great. <laughs> because Esau doesn't want this. And that's why he's doing to, uh, some, uh, making certain moves so he can destroy uh, what, what Yahweh has built. Because Esau knows that once Israel is raised up, he's through. He's done. So he's going to continue to try to plant those seeds of carnality and, and maliciousness. Not even just in our spirits, but also everywhere around us. Okay? So we have to continue to grow and be excellent in these teachings that we're learning. Okay? I'm going to grab <coughs> uh, one more scripture. It's a real quick lesson, you know. Uh, then, then I'll be done. This is my last scripture that I have. This is a uh, Sirach chapter 21 and see I'll start at 11 it says he that keepeth the law of the Lord getteth the understanding thereof 
and the perfection of the fear of the Lord is wisdom. So you per, you per, you perfect the the fear of the Lord in, in wisdom. And it says, He that is not wise will not be taught. But there is a wisdom which multiply bitterness, right? The knowledge of a wise man shall abound like a flood, and his counsel is like a pure fountain of life, right? The inner part of a fool are like a broken vessel, and he will uh, hold no knowledge as long as he liveth. And so we want to make sure that we're... Uh, 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 sitting, sitting at the foot of of, of, of wise men, and, and also we're supping uh, with 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 Yahweh and Yahusha in the spirit, and growing in this thing, right? Because we have all the tools here, we have all the the the, the ability, so we don't have any excuses because Yahweh and Yahusha put the spirit on us to find to come into this truth. And so we have to continue to uh, push ourselves and to grow. And, uh, you know, just like uh, the athletes, they're constantly working out and training and, and to prepare themselves for uh, whatever game so they can excel uh, and be known as great. We are constantly toiling in the scriptures and ever learning, whether it's uh, watching videos, reading different books. Uh, going into the history, learning uh, uh, um, different languages, so we're able to abound in this faith. And uh, with that, I want to give all uh, praise, glory, and honor to Yah, Bashim, Yah, Shah, Bashim, Prakadash, double honors to the uh, apostles, and that was a great millstone. Peace and blessings to you, brothers out there, preaching this word of sincerity and truth. Shalom.